Well, we're on the go with Joe today and on guard at a new facility <laughs> that just opened in Tigard. Yeah, he's learning all about the sport of fencing. Joins us live from the new home of the Northwest Fencing Center. Joe, I can't help but expect you to look like you're doing one of the sword fights from Princess Bride. Can you make that happen by the end of the newscast? My name is Joe V. I yeah. killed my father. Prepare to die. Exactly. No, uh, I don't know that I'll quite get to that level, Shauna, but <laughs> okay. thank you very much for your confidence. Uh, this right here, this is Nina and Kepler. I just wanted to show them to you because the Northwest Fencing Center, uh, their new location here in Tigard, and uh, Simone, the head coach, uh, how young can people start in fencing and how old can they be, I guess, when, they're, when they so want to do fencing? So we start... Uh, kids around six or seven years old okay and uh there isn't re really an age limit mm. to when you can start we have fencers starting in their 30s 40s 50s even uh any age is is good okay now i'll walk with you walking through kind of earlier the equipment how to hold the foil which is this the kind of uh, fencing that i'm going to be doing later uh so now walk me through some basic uh you know i guess thrusts because that's one thing about the foil is you're not slashing like this you've got to hit them with the point of yes. the foil correct so attack is going to be through a uh, forward motion okay straight toward the the opponent mm -hmm. and uh you will use the blade for defense moving mm -hmm. across to block any uh uh, attack from your your opponent like that just like back back and forth like yes. a windshield wiper kind of move okay all right yes. uh, there you go just uh, well that, that i got that is there anything where i can step it up a little bit and try something a little uh, more so uh, footwork and movement is going yes. to be very important okay. so yeah your right foot should be pointing straight forward okay. uh, left foot behind the space is good if you bend your legs a little bit that will give you a little bit more mobility and then uh, as you move forward or backward you're going to try to keep that space between your feet to maintain as as good balance as possible okay. and then backwards like moving away from your opponent is going to be your first uh, way to, to defend doing, yourself i'll probably be doing a lot more of this and then this, um, yes, okay. if you decide to attack you will uh reach out with your arm and mm. kick that front foot as far as possible and that's called the lunge and that's how you will uh attack your opponent Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, looking this. good. All right, all right. Well, Northwest Fencing Center, again, their new story studio is here in Tigard on Greenberg. Uh, we'll have more information about them at kptv.com. Coach, do you think I'm ready for my first match, my first contest? I think you're ready for it, yes. Okay. At first, I was going to, you know, maybe take on the coach himself. I've thought better about that. So, Nina, young lady, <laughs> it's you and me, okay? <laughs> we'll fence good luck, Joe. <laughs> She's, good luck. She's very excited about it. Okay, I'm not guys, a lot more coming up. i got to learn some more news yeah. in the next uh, 15 minutes or so. We'll be back in just a bit. I'm not sure it's a fair fight. Okay. I think Joe is at a disadvantage uh, uh, here. 100%. I, I'm a little worried about him with Nina. Looking at the outfit, I think they should combine that with uh, <laughs> beehives and, you know, you, you, know, you know, do the both of them. Fencing go out there and get the honey beehives. and fence. I have to say as well.